the present video consists of uh, uh, three gate problems which are based on one of the very important uh, PN junction capacitance which is called depletion capacitance or sometimes also called as a junction capacitance. The three problems which are taken here are of gate 2007, gate 2004 and 1991 and all these are uh, based on the uh, junction capacitance as a function of uh, junction voltage and uh, this capacitance uh, comes in play when the junction is reverse passed. So we will see these problems one by one. The first in this is uh, the problem of 2007, gate 2007 and uh, uh, we will read out this problem here. Says that a P plus N junction has a built in potential of 0.8 volts. The depletion layer width at a reverse bias of 1.2 volt is 2 micrometer. For a reverse bias of 7.2 volt the depletion layer width will be. In this problem the junction is given. Here the junction is of uh, P plus N that means it is an abrupt junction. Now uh, the depletion layer for the uh, reverse bias voltage of 1.2 volt is given and we have to find the depletion layer width for the reverse bias voltage of 7.2 volts. <coughs> Here the junction capacitance or uh, junction voltage uh, is taken as the uh, built in potential of the junction plus the reverse bias applied to the junction. Now this uh, uh, the capacitance the depletion capacitance or junction capacitance is uh, uh, proportional V to the power minus half for the abrupt junction. Uh, we know that the capacitance and the depletion width they are related since they are of uh, inversely proportional that means if uh, larger is the depletion width the junction capacitance would be smaller. So since we have to relate it uh, with the depletion width, so this depletion width will be now proportional to V to the power half. Okay, So this could be written as W equals to K V J to the power half. Now uh, we know that the value for uh, uh, reverse bias voltage is a built in potential plus reverse bias voltage and the value is given here the width depletion width is given 2 micrometers and similarly we have to find the depletion width x for the uh, reverse bias voltage of 7.2 volt and the uh, built in potential of 0.8 so you can find out from here this is uh, finding the value for x x by 2 is 8 by 2 to the power half it comes to 4 micrometer. That means uh, the depletion width would be 4 micrometers for, uh, for the given uh, um, reverse bias voltage. This is option A is the correct choice. Now we see uh, the problem of gate 2004 this states as consider an abrupt uh, G PN junction. Let VVI be the built in potential of this junction and VR be the applied uh, reverse bias. If the junction capacitance CJ is 1 picofarad for VVI plus VR is equal to 1 volt, then for VVI plus VR is equal to 4 volt, CJ will be this. And all these four options are given and we have to find out which is the correct option. For abrupt junction, the junction capacitance is uh, proportional to Vj to the power minus half and uh, uh, now we can find the uh, value for the relation Cj2 over Cj1 in terms of the uh, reverse bias voltage under root Vj1 over Vj2. So Cj2 over Cj1, Vj1 is given as 1 volts, so 4 volts so you can find the value for Cj2. Cj2 is Cj1 upon 2 1 by half 
half of this. This is one half. So it is 0.5 picofarads. So 0.5 picofarads. Uh, this is the uh, option D here. Now the third problem here is sub gate 1991. The small signal capacitance of an abrupt P plus N junction is one nanofarad per centimeter square and is zero bias. If the built-in voltage is one volt, the capacitance of diverse bias voltage of nine volt is given any of the any one of these four options. We know that the junction is abrupt because of P plus N. So again uh, it will have the same relation, C J would be proportional V to the power minus half or C J could be written as one over root V. Now we can write the value for C two over C one, V one over V two. We know this is uh, built-in potential plus zero bias voltage and the built-in potential plus bias voltage of ninety nine, so one over hundred, comma one over ten. So C two equals to C one upon ten, one by ten picofarads. So actually the value here for the uh, <coughs> junction capacitance is given one nanofarad per centimeter square. Here also this would be point one nanofarad per centimeter square, and this is option B, and this is the correct price. Thank you.